Two weeks later. <laughs> This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm all good. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Roof. Yeah, we've got Chalk on the channel. Uh, we've talked about doing a few profiles over over time. He's actually been getting some tops, and uh, this yeah. time he actually brought one to me instead of someone else. So Yeah, I think my bird one went to myself, and then uh, the other one went to my mate Acer. Yeah, so we got you finally on the channel anyway. So what did you play, where did you finish, uh, and where was it actually as well? Uh, so it was up in Preston, a uh, yeah. long way from where we are at Locals, but... Uh, my nan came in clutch with the uh, with the inn with the uh, hotel. Yeah. So uh, I came third out of I want to say 94, 94-ish players. Yeah. Uh, a lot of really good regional we had. Uh, Jordan Gallagher. Uh, we had Rack and Devon. Yeah, yeah. Came down, came over from Europe. And, uh, Vlad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so a lot of decent players. There was no exos in the uh, the winner was the next one. Yep. Yeah. Um, I play Prank Kids because it's pretty good with Brave, uh, and it is one of my favourite decks of, of, of Yu-Gi-Oh! Just because I really enjoyed the playstyle when it was back with Polly and two kids, mm -hmm. uh, and Brave just makes it broken. Yeah, true, 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 true. Okay, uh, any, uh, anything you'd like to say other than that before we get started? Uh, no, I'm good to go. Okay, so before we do get stuck in, guys, check out channel sponsors, Jam Jam Cards UK. Link in the description, code Rufio15 for some money off some singles. Away when you're ready. Alright, so we'll start with main deck. Uh, I'll, go, I'll burst through it pretty quickly. There's, there's one or two uh, interesting choices. Uh, so first off, uh, I'm choosing to play the free, the free kids lines. So free, free, two. Uh, this, obviously, this is uh, up for debate. Uh, I know Pack has been playing uh, two, 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 one. Uh, when I, I tried the list at locals, I went undefeated uh, until top cut. But I didn't like that. I didn't have like a, a grind game really. Like I felt I feel like Prank Kids excels most when obviously it does its combo and then has like that grind game afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh, two Roxies is just a case of uh, some people might still be main decking lands here, so obviously Roxy's the worst one into that, and it's also the worst one to like draw for turn with no hand, so you just, it's the one you put it to. Sure. Uh, then we'll see we've got free place. Uh, I'm not playing terraforming. Uh, the goal of this deck was basically to have every card you draw be money right there and then, and I'm not playing mine because mine's too easily outed by the Brave Engine. Sure. Um, so no need for terraforming to search for mine. Uh, I'm choosing to play a 1-1 one, one, one for pr Pando Pranks. Uh, I remember slagging off uh, another guy at Locals for playing one of these, saying he was an idiot and he just looted Cosmic. And then I gave it 10 minutes of thought, which is, if they Cosmic this, when you set it, like, the combo only gets 1 anyway. If they Cosmic this, then you've probably lost anyway, or you're going to win anyway, kind of thing. Uh, the only way you can serve two of them is by hard drawing this or this, and these are cards you just don't want to draw, you just want to search your combo. Like, sure. uh, having this hard drawn is really good, but not going to have to play any more than that. And the last card in the Pranker's Engine was Thunder Going Fusion. It's a really strong card, gets the resources back, gets you a star for next turn. Sure. Then we've got the Brave Engine, super standard, nothing new here. Free Enchantress, Griffin, Free Right, Journey, uh, Equip Spell. Uh, in this deck, Unlike maybe some others, I the negate is really nice, but the main thing it is is just searching this to chain block the prank kids. Sure. Because as soon as you chain block, even if they ogre this, you're just like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm still doing combo. Uh, oh yeah, and a foolish the enchantress. Uh, I think once in a friendly, I have sent a prank kid to have all three engraved, like inverting thunder or just activate one. Uh, Very <laughs> niche scenario. Something to remember. Something to remember. Uh, then something that's not quite standard, and I think is really good, is the. Uh, Souls package, so you know, full, full disclosure, Souls on Calm Cook's list for the remote YCSs and uh, cut, I think a regional top. Yeah. Um, originally I was like, I don't know if this is good, and then I realised 
Well, the uh, the brave engine just gives you like you know, journey equipped to send with this for two draws. Sure. If you if you go through place to search, place goes because you don't care about resolving it in the opponent's turn. You've already chain blocked. You've already got the combo. So it's literally just free real estate, and sure. it makes making verte really easy. Yeah. Like if you really if you if you're fearing nib, you just go okay and main. They go nib. Okay, summon this. Make link spider. Make verte. Mm -hmm. Time B. <laughs> Um, in terms of the ratio, uh, to be honest, I'm not a math genius, I don't really know which is correct. In my mind, I'm like, uh, I'd like to see this just to put bricks back, uh, and then you're like, keep this, put the brick back, summon this, send one from deck, because I don't know, I've sent, I've kept, put a brick back, and then, you know, go from there. Sure. Up for debate whether you should be free, free souls to illusion or so. Uh, DPE. Uh, this is <laughs> this is another thing where I was, you know I was flagging off a guy from local saying DPs win more, man. You don't need it. You don't need it. It's really good. Yeah, DP's cards crack. DPs crack. Stole would, package. Man. I wouldn't play Dagda because I don't open Fusion Destiny. <laughs> no. But uh, yeah, like the package is just crack. Every sure. time, every time I hard drew this, it's insane. Making Verte after they've like stopped my combos, and it's just it's just insane. And then the last cards in the main deck is 48 card main deck, by the way. The, the, the maths is, works out that as you see kids like 85% of the time, 80% of the time, something like that. Um, but it's to, mainly just to draw the garnets less, or draw the bricks less. Mm -hmm. So I'm choosing to play Ash, Ogre, Vela, and Nib. Yep. Uh, so Ash is Ash. It's really good for UK regionals because UK regionals has so much until like until after round four you just play. You could just play anything. Yeah. Uh, Ogre for obvious reasons. Fateful Adventure uh, hits pranks. Like, which can actually be pretty detrimental because obviously you don't get the recur, you don't get the draw at the end phase, and you don't get the token, which is how you get like to bow out most of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, Vayla's is a really good uh, normal, uh, like normal hand trap. It can hit a whole range of cards. Obviously, in combination with Nib against Brave, you know, Vayla Nib is probably going to break any board. Yeah. And Nib, I wasn't originally sure on this because obviously it's the worst one to draw its own going into a Brave engine. But yeah. It's really proven like a really good like hand trap. Mm -hmm. I, like whenever I've seen it, obviously I see it and another hand trap because it's just how mass works. Like two hand traps is most likely. Yeah. Nib is just it's a power card. It just, it just destroys. Um, then moving on to extra deck, unfortunately, on Meow Meow, wish to play more. self explanatory Don't have to explain it. Uh, free doodle. Uh, some people may cut this down to two. Uh, I've had game like it's a full 50-50. When I've played with two, I played with three. I like both. Both have their niches. Uh, I had to make a third one today in top cut uh, after the guy bailed the first one, then on summon bailed the second one. So I was like, make a third, <laughs> uh, and then one bow out. I I really want to play two of this, but uh, it's just sort of the it's the it's the the what's the word? It's just the worst one. Like it is really good, but they're just better cards to play. Sure. Now this is where things get a little bit interesting. You may have seen in the uh, main deck there was a certain card that is at one missing. Uh, in terms of fusions, I am playing two Bow Wow and one Weather Washer. I've, sure. I have elected to forego Rocket Ride. Okay. So, Rocket Ride's like, instant fusion, insane one-off, you know, make Rocket Ride, bring two back, do, make a Verte, or do, you know, bring a Doodle back, tribute it, search cards, but it doesn't help you start. Yeah. My, my concern was it doesn't stop my opponent playing, it's not a hand trap. It, if I can't start playing, it's going to be dead, and it's not really a starter because it just doesn't do anything when I have no prankers in grave. Sure. So I elected to play like some other cards in the extract over it, and so far out of uh, a regional, uh, a locals, and two remote locals, I've missed it once. Sure. There was a t there was one chance I could have made it, and then realised no, making that would be wrong. Mainly, it's mainly because of one panda, like because you're because you're playing one panda, you'll never really fusion something in your own turn. Okay. So into links, we've got two generic, we've got two link spider. Uh, the second one doesn't come up very often. The idea is, uh, for the second one is obviously pranks tokens, nib tokens, adventure tokens. Um, it mainly comes up when you like say go Roxy's draw, draw into like a right or enchantress. After, if you haven't opened it, they nib you. You turn the nib token to link spider. You use the right, you turn that into a link spider. Boom boom, verte. Uh, it came up once today. Uh, obviously, it could have been a link rebo because there was a pranks token I was using, but came up. So up to you. it's up to you know your discretion. Uh, dark, obviously, if you're not playing souls, I wouldn't play dark. But because I'm playing souls, I'm playing dark. It's the same card. Oh wait, your DPE, our DPE. 
Uh, Cheeky communism. Uh, it can also search souls itself once it's destroyed by Bower card effect by your opponent's cards. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, against drawing Geiger in Preston, I nearly did, and then realized I'd side them out because <laughs> I was going second. Uh, and they don't help break a scythe board, so. <laughs> uh, then, Access Unicorn, insane card. I don't really need to explain them. Good card. It makes You make it really easy with a washer if, you, like, if they don't do anything. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, obviously, Verte, DP. Yep. Again, no need to explain. No Dagda. I just, no Dagda. <laughs> I don't think it's good in the in pranks. So on the side, obviously side is up to you. It's a meta meta dependent, same with the hand traps in there. I've I like to go for free draw. Yep. Really good. You know, if they start for the brave engine, it means they're not searching their engine cards. There are a lot of decks that just sort of crumble to this. Yeah. Uh, pranks it doesn't crumble to it, but it makes a smaller board. Uh, Gamma's back in the format. Really, yep. I love it. Uh, I only decided in going second or going first against Flunder. I see shifters in the format. Mm -hmm. um, every time I've drawn it, it's been really powerful. I would play it. Uh, I only started going second or going first in sure. very, very niche scenarios. Um, I'm choosing to play Free Judgment. Uh, going first, I just want the combo to resolve. I don't want to get Cosmic or Twin. That's what this is for. Uh, this got Cosmic in the, in the top uh, top four today. Sad. So I should, I should have activated I should have uh, kept uh, Judgment today. Uh, then evenly, um, I don't decide this very often. Back row, uh, PK. Uh, you know, against a brave deck, you could side it in because obviously they have to keep the token. But usually they put some other negate stuff and stuff like that. Sure. Um, it's mainly just for the back row. Like, it's a it's a regional. You're gonna play. You might play the back row. So, and then the last two are reboot duster. Uh, not playing pank or anything. I don't think pank's very good. Uh, it's back row again. Yeah. I'm just scared of back row. I hate back row. I hate losing to random back row barriers. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. I really appreciate it. Uh, congratulations, of course, on your top. Any shout-outs before we go? Uh, I want to shout out Team Force Focus. Uh, it's not our actual team, but it's just the group of... It's just a little name we have for the Leeds group. Uh, I want to shout out um, uh, Manuscrew. Yep. Amazing locals. If you're in the Northampton area, even if it's like a half hour, hour drive, it's really worth coming Worth down. it. Saturdays, Tuesdays. Um, shout out to the, the shift guys. Uh, yeah. They do They do usually give me lifts places. Uh, I'm not part of the team, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> contrary to popular belief. Yeah, contrary to public service, service announcement, I'm not actually part of team shift. Uh, but, you know, Carl is, uh, Carl's a really good deck builder. He really helps me out a lot of times. It's like side options and stuff. Um, uh, and, yeah, that's, that's all, really. All right, cool. Thank you very much for taking time to the profile. Right. I really appreciate it. Uh, guys, if you haven't already, most definitely hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.